generic greetings and welcome to Beverage Plus Big Farmer once again. Today's beverage is <sighs> an iced cup of tea, a good old fashioned, no nonsense British cup of tea. It's got no sugar in it, but it does have a little bit of milk, so that's okay. A lot of people call it English breakfast tea, I, I just call it tea. Anyway, Big Farmer, I featured it a couple of times on the channel, I have a bit of time, so I thought I would show a little bit more of it because people are interested in the game, and why not? Because it is a fantastically good game. It's obviously links in the description, you can check it out yourself and all of that, but uh, yeah, it's received a couple of updates and such, and also. Because these are the later missions, if we go onto my research, you can see I've actually got loads of different pieces of equipment unlocked. So we've got the Ultraviolet Cura, which does things. We've got the Chromatograph, something like that. Uh, the Centrifuge, we've got a Syringe Injector, Sachet Maker, loads of different stuff. And all the things that we didn't have in the previous videos. So I'm going to try and maybe do a Sachet Maker. The, the actual objective for this particular map uh, we're on the keep calm and carry on uh, intermediate mission I believe it is and it's uh, the objective is produce 250 reduces anxiety treatments so if we go to ingredients we can see that we actually have that from day one we can see that it is actually do we have it from day one no we don't it's uh, initial parts are there that's uh, to do with relaxant medication right there so that's tumble tumble I thought it was a tumble weed it would be much better if it was uh, if we go there uh, we should be able to unlock that and then get the anti-anxiety medication all sorted and stuff. So, we might end up doing that. We might get there, I don't know, but we need to get some money coming in. So, we do have this um, remove warts uh, sort of treatment here. We also have a purified grub grub uh, <laughs> fumes, which... Um, it reduces, uh, calms acid reflux, so if we reduce that down by one, we'll get that activated without the increased blood pressure da uh, downside. Same for the remove water, we won't cause pins and needles, so that should be quite good. So let's crack on with it. I've just expanded the map just a little bit, because why not? Uh, we'll just check one second, we do need to reduce them down, both of them, by at least one. So just reduction by one, so that should be quite an easy one to do. So we will go to, I guess, it's the dissolve, which reduces the concentration by one. Where do I want to bring this stuff in? So if I bring it in there, and then we have a pill maker or pill printers like that, it means we can actually print two sets, and then that should be the best one. So we will bring in that one. And which one do I want to bring in first? That one is a plus 100, that's 105. Cost is about, no, this is a little bit cheaper. We'll import that one. And also, it's got the better name. And we will start the game. So, there we go. We are now bringing stuff in. We're going to reduce that down. And we should uh, make a nice... Uh Nice treatment there. Obviously, it's 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 uh, on a higher difficulty than the previous uh, videos I've done, so we might actually go bankrupt. It's uh, one of the things that I didn't really, I didn't expect when I first heard about the game and played it uh, just like a little bit. Is I didn't expect that you'd have, you know, a lot of the game would be about you trying to manage your, uh, trying to manage your. Um, your, your funds and such. Anyway, that calms acid reflux is now activated. It's the generic drug company Reflux No More. We're gonna name that. I was gonna I was gonna rename them to like uh, generic anti anti stomach bug drug or something like that. But typing all that in is just a big pain. So I'm just gonna let them name them. And also they, they are quite funny. Some of the names that you actually get. <laughs> mm. Right. So. That one is working quite well, and as you can see, we are generating 125 each. If I go to our company, we can see that we've got three companies. We've got the generic drug company, GDC. Uh, we've got the uh, Exp Expedite Medicine, which have produced nothing, and the Gamma Group, which again have produced nothing. So, obviously, we've got Leonard as well, because, uh, you know, generic scientist looking guy. Uh, they don't all look like that, you know, other pictures are available. Right, so I've got uh, one explorer going around because I want to generate some uh, some upgrade points and then we can shove them in here to make these a bit cheaper. And if we go to our research, actually not viewers, we can see that I've also got two scientists currently, actually, well, you can't see that. I do have two scientists. Do I have two scientists? Yes, I have two scientists. Uh, 30 day, all scientists 60. It doesn't actually show you how many scientists. It shows you how many are available. It doesn't show you how many you've got total. Anyway, I'm researching this thing, which is the, I can never pronounce it, it's the agglomerator something like that, and the ionizer, basically that reduces it by three, that increases the concentration by three, because generally you want to bump it up by a fair amount. So anyway, we are doing not very well because we're losing cash, we're losing 50 a tick, and also, ooh, new AI product, the uh, Gamma Stomach Pain Beta, so if I go to research, no, I always got the wrong tabs, company, there we go. We can see that they have cams as a reflux. It's pretty much the same as mine by the look of it. And I'm guessing that's expert medicine. They've got the fungal 
Wart remover. Actually, we're going to have to switch tabs to actually see that again. Don't know why. Alpha Games Alpha. There we go. Remove warts. Right. I think we're going to we're gonna have to get on the horse. We're going to have to get we're gonna have to get that sorted. Right. Let's go for a very similar setup. Let's go for, I guess, basic and dissolver. And we will import that in there. And then we'll go for a maker of pill printer. There and there. And then we'll shove them in there. And like so. I like it like a little bit of a gap there. And we will import from this one. We will import. See, this one here is remove warts. There we go. And that'll reduce by one, which will make it work. There you go. If I click on this, you can see how it works. So we bring stuff in, we reduce it by one, and then that increases. We reduce the strength by one, or concentration by one, and then it activates that one there because that's the active range. I've done a full preview video on this and another, you know, a couple of beverage videos. So obviously, by now, hopefully, you are aware of what this game does. If not, then I'd watch them because maybe you may not know what's going on. Hmm. So as I said, the overall goal of this uh, mission is to produce a uh, flaky water catcher, that's what that's called. It is to produce some anti-anxiety medication. So, let's see what we can do. Let's go to ingredients, and we currently have one research point. I'm going to upgrade that one there so it's a little bit cheaper, and then I'm going to send my explorer over there to actually do some explorating. That's pretty good. Right. I mean, I'm making a little bit of money, which is fantastic. Let's speed up to max speed. We are 78% on the ionizer and the other thing that cannot be pronounced in made words. And what we'll do is shove them onto probably the pill printer upgrade and hopefully get some more cash. Pill printer is actually quite good for uh, making cash when you upgrade them and stuff because you can see it doesn't really increase. Looks like we've got some uh, the expedite acid bane. Looks like they're producing some more drugs. Now, that's a thing. And I didn't really expect, as I said, that when you, you know, play against the, the computer and such, but I guess it's only against the computer, not multiplayer. All the multiplayer would be quite funky. I don't know how you would do it. Anyway, uh, let me just pause it for a second because I don't want it to continue. Actually, no, I do want to continue going on because I'm making cash. Yeah, I've, uh, you can see that, that each of these have Q ratings. And what happens is that if they make a better thing than you, then your value is going to go down and such. So we don't really want to do that because we want to make as much money as we can. Anyway, research is done. We've unlocked both of these things. So we now have this one and this one done which reduces and increases the strength uh, or the the uh, concentration of the drugs so that's good but now the scientists are just sitting on a word you know just sitting going don't know what to do just drawing you know just they've got a piece of paper just a notepad then just drawing things on it probably probably dicks because that's generally what you draw on pads <laughs> that's not the first place i go that's unhealthy um <laughs> yeah right right anyway um People just, you know, just tend to draw. I mean, right, well, I've got a bit of time. What do I draw? Um, the rudest thing possible. Let's keep going. Anyway, um, I think it's all the times of me playing uh, tabletop RPGs when someone got a little bit bored and they immediately started drawing just um, rude things on the board. Maybe it's just my friends. Who knows? Anyway, so... We've got this going. Uh, we need to make sure that we've got these scientists on research, which they are. Obviously, they're going to sit there. They're going to then make some points, and then we're going to shove them in here to try and make the pill printer a little bit better. I could shove them here to try and get, like, a creamer, but we don't really need that at the moment. We've also got an autoclave and a cryogenic condenser. I have never actually made the syringe injector. I think I've got the sachet maker. The sachet maker turns your drugs into a neat little sachets, which can be sold, and it gives a 15, per 15 for each cure effect in the drug. A bonus of 15 for each cure in the drug. But it doesn't tell me how much I sell them for immediately. So I don't know how much. It just says pill bonus. Oh, I guess, yeah, it will come out. Uh, yeah, so the sachet maker is really good if you've got loads. If you've got two or three or even four cures in one drug. The syringe injector. Uh, I've increased combined value and effect strength compared to other delivery methods. Doesn't tell me. Doesn't tell me what that is. Increased combined value. That's what this thing has. Hmm. Oh well, we'll wait. Anyway, let's increase that so we'll get a little bit more money. So you can see we're actually generating 21 per tick now, and that'll slowly go up as I do more research and such. So we got 70% on this um, on this drug here. Let's use the relaxance medication. Hopefully, that'll give us the ability to actually, you know, go a little bit further. Let me just buy these two things here. Do I need to buy both? Uh, no, but I'm not. No, I'm not going to buy it. I'm not going to buy it. I want to expand, but I, I think maybe a little bit too harsh if I do that. I could actually start painting the floor with the uh, different coloured things. I don't know if it costs. I assume it does. It costs ten each. <gasps> we don't want ten. Can we? Can we change that back? I don't think we can change that back. You know, so that's going to sit there doing nothing. Uh, you know what? We're just going to we're going to tile all that one there like that. That is our 
that is our area for making that drug. That one there, which is the... Hang on. Oh, can you delete it? Oh, you can't. No, you can't delete it. Um, that is the reflux no more. Looks like we've just finished our research as well, which is an antihistamine. It's not a very good drug, though. As you can see, it's, it's got... causes headaches. Uh, it causes constipation and inflamed skin. Hmm. So we can upgrade it to... As long as we upgrade it to one, that activates, and then we've got alleviates insomnia. But to... Sorry, no, no, no. That's an antihistamine. If we knock it up to level four, which is currently level one, then we can upgrade it to alleviates insomnia. That's okay. So what we'll do... We'll get the very, very basic one first, I think. So let's expand there because I want to shove it in this area. So we need to increase it by one, which is quite easy because we just use an evaporator. So if we shove an evaporator like that, and then we get a pill printer like so. That's a very, very simple thing here. And then we'll connect these two up. And then bam, 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 job done. And then we will bring in this here. And then that'll increase it, and then we'll sell it. But I don't know what strength or what level it's going to be, because as you can see, this stuff here, it's only just activated the antihistamine effect. We've got no downsides, but we've also got it in an unknown range, because each each drug, each effect has a like a, a perfect strength. So you can see that there. That could it's 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 ideal strength, it's a max strength, could be there for all I know. So it could be very, very crap is a drug, to be honest with you. I don't I just genuinely don't know. So we'll have to see how that one goes. Right. So that is cracking on. We need to just have a quick look at our company and we'll see where that is. That is actually B plus for the water remover. Quite good. The bunged bane, which is the antihistamine, is currently a C rating. It's fine. It's just it's generating money, which is what we want. Right, let's go back to research and we will... Oh, we've got three more points now. So we're going to shove two in there to again make more money because we've currently got six pill printers on the go. So the, the more money we can get off that, the better. We also need to start reducing some of the costs here. So if we put a point in there, it basically takes a dollar off each one so it's not that good but you know we can do it and they've just got a fungal war too that i'm currently ahead of them in terms of the drugs i'm bringing in and such that's quite good i'm going to use one of my upgrade points because i do have one to import uh to cheapen that out a little bit i think which is 10 percent discount which is reduced it a little bit again or every little helps and all that now you might think oh two dollars isn't that much but it's it's two every tick from the one we're bringing in, and that over time does start adding up, and uh, you know it's not. It's just about not overextending, I guess. Hmm. Okay, so 119 generic units of currency, 120 generic units of currency per tick. That's pretty good, and that's going up as well as we, you know, continue on. I could hire some more scientists and such, but I don't think it will be a good idea just yet. I think, or, or is it a good idea? Actually, you know what? I think it is. We'll hire one more. Cost three grand, and that will probably reduce that down. But I want to start and research some more stuff. Basics aux auxiliary so then we can get an analyzer and then we can start making the best drugs we can. Because obviously these ones here, we have no idea how good that is. That's that's in that range there. You know, I reckon that acid reflux is quite good. I reckon the, the max strength is about there, maybe there. But obviously it means that if it's within these last three, we can easily drop it down a couple more if we need to and we're not getting into the increases blood pressure. Because even if the max strength is in that area where it would increase the blood pressure if we activate it, it's probably best to keep it one block off because adding, although we put it into the max strength, we might put it into the increases blood pressure, which means it's actually going to be worse overall. The demand for male con uh, contraception uh, is growing apparently. There we go. So we could, if we had um, some things like that, we could probably get on with it, but I don't think we do. That's body response, that's blood medicine. Mm, you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll actually, oh, I've just pressed import. I didn't mean import. I want to go into ingredients. I want to cheapen that up and I want to, I do want to hire another explorer because I want to start researching this, but I think it's probably a little bit overzealous of me at this time. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to import that drug because what I want to do, I want to see if we can get the alleviate somnia one because that's going towards what we need to with the uh, keep calm and carry on anti-anxiety medication. So we will bring it in and we need to get it level 4 to 6. So it's currently 1. So I think if we shove it through a... Uh, one of these that I can't pronounce, an algum blah, 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 thingy would do that. We should be able to get it to about the right strength. If we bring it in there... And then that'll be level three, I think. There we go. It's now level three. And we need to shove it through a dissolver. 
And hopefully this is the right way. It is not the right way, so we're going to have to put it there. Actually, that's not too bad. It means we just got a big line here. And that means that this will come out, and then we'll shove it through there, and then it'll change the drug. And Alleviate Insomnia is miles away. So Alleviate Insomnia is all the way up there. We can't remove the... Ref uh, the inflamed skin thing we can't remove or we can remove actually the causes uh, constipation but if you look at that that's only active in this current range we're not even going to be there because we need to get up to that top bit so we need one two three four five six seven eight nine maximum or ma minimum sorry so we need to increase the concentration by three so the best way to go about that is to probably put that there that there and then that there okay and then we'll delete these ones because I like to uh, make it nice and neat and we'll put that in there put that in there put that in there and then to be honest with you I think the best thing to do is to probably shove it in another one and that'll increase it it'll increase its strength again but don't know if it's worth it or not see the problem is that the way these work you see ah, this I don't like this layout you know I really don't like this layout at all Let's get rid of this because this is this is getting a bit out of hand. See, the problem is that I'm I'm, I'm bringing it in in an area where ideally we, we want all this stuff over here. So if we brought it in there, and oh that's that's glitched out. Uh, we've, then we put it through that. No, let's see. We're not going to use this one here, so I don't really care about it too much. If we brought it in there, like that, then we put it through that. And then we shoved it through that one, then that one, then that one, then that one. See, it's a lot of wasted money because we've, we've been processing all of this stuff. But I think it's going to be a little bit tidier and also easier later on for us. And we put them in. So connect that up, connect that up. And then we connect all of these up like that. And we're actually using less belts now, which is a good thing. And what I want to do is put these about there. Now, the reason I'm moving them down is because if I ever do need to upgrade something, I can then bring belts in this side, you see? And then we'll drag that down to there, like that. Insufficient funds. Damn it! I'm just off. Right, I'm going to have to take a loan out, I'm afraid. Oh, no, no, we are making money, which is good. That's good. As soon as this activates, you see, we'll be ready to go. Right, so, this is now activated. Don't know how good this will be, but we'll see, won't we? Click on that, import that one. So let's see if this works. So, brings it in, got normal speed, upgrades it to antihistamine effect, which it has done. Now, to upgrade it to alleviate insomnia, we shove it through a dissolver, which is this one here, which then dissolves it, and there we go. To alleviate insomnia, we need to increase it by at least 9, and it'll be 3, 6, 9, 12. It'll go through. The reason 12 is because I reckon the... Not the maximum effect. Uh, the max strength is probably higher than the first one. But we'll see. Gives a little bit of security as well. So there you go. It's continually going up. Sadly, it will inflame the skin. And it will be putting that probably closer to its uh, higher range as well. But, you know, there you go. It's now almost max strength. Or rather, it's almost at the top end, but I don't know what its current max strength is. Either way, I'm going to leave that. I'm going to go to this, and we're going to we're going to get an analyzer. We could go for a multi mixer. We could also go for a creamer as well. Let's actually start uh, trying to research a creamer. We've got five research points, so I'm going to start uh, probably cheapening these up here. And we should, yeah, we're starting to do a bit of pill printing, but we are ma losing a lot of money now. So this thing has to be good. Here we go. It is the GDD Snorpal. We're going to name that. And hopefully, we're not going to lose a crap ton of money. It's got a company. And it is a C rating, which is no bonus, no downside. My remove warts thing is A+. plus. Ace, look at that. Oh, it's not A+, plus, it's just A. That's amazing. That's really, really good, that one, remove warts. And we are making money now. And we're actually making a fair bit of money. Nice. They have not got anything there yet, so it's just me who's got that uh, drug on there. So we're making, with that one, it's a 241 per tick. Not bad. So we're already out the red, and we're in the black. Excellent. So we're making cash. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let it crack on. I'm going to let it make that and continue going, and we're going to get a nice surplus of cash. And while these are researching, there's a nice um, analyzer there. 
I'm going to probably just let that guy sit there. I'm just going to keep researching. If I just go to ingredients, actually, you'll find that we've got three research points. So we're going to cheapen that out a bit because we are going to be using it eventually. And then I probably want to hire another person to start researching this thing. But I don't know if that's a good idea yet. No, I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Right. Uh, what we do want to go to research, though, because what I want to do, I want to start expanding, you see. But to do that, I need to, I guess, do the national headquarters, and then these will cheapen it out. See, so you, you know, purchase price. You know what? I don't think I need that. By the time we've done all this research, we could have put it elsewhere, you see. Right, what I am going to do then, I want to make sure that what we are making here is a good drug. So, I'm going to just close these because I don't want to read them. I will delete that bit there. Okay, now this is now this is going to lose me some money, if I'm honest with you. But, I think it's worth it in the long run. We want to go to our auxiliary and an analyzer. Now, we shove the analyzer there. And then we put the belt there. So what we're doing, basically, is wasting loads of money. Because we're going to fling this stuff in the analyzer. We shall then burn it. And, as you can see, we're not... You know, instead of selling that drug, we're now not selling that drug. Which is bad. Bad, bad, bad. But, it will eventually tell me the max strength of this thing. Which is quite good. I'm just going to go to research here. And just check. See whether or not... Uh, I do have a research point. I could cheapen that out. That reduces a point off it, so it's going to be a little bit cheaper to do, which is quite good. And we've now got, oh, three more people uh, fin that finished actually doing what they were doing. Could go for the milky mixer. I think we're going to go for the creamer, because that uh, reduces the side effects of drugs. And I'm depending on what we find with the analyzer, I might have to use that and um, shove. Instead of having these, instead of having this as a, as a pill, I might uh, make the... I might make it as a cream, so it's an alleviates insomnia cream. I don't know what that would be. <laughs> Some of the weird stuff you get is a bit weird. Like, for example, um, if you use, like, the, in like the, the injector, so you actually make, like, um, injections for things, you could make, like, an injection for um, cure stomach ups upset. That's a bit extreme, isn't it? Anyway, we're finding some... Ah, Reese. Ah, here we go. Analysis complete. We've just found the max strength of our inflamed skin, which we are oh, pretty high on, actually. I'm still researching this and causes headaches. So I found, if I just pause it for a second, there we go. Are we will be able to see it. We won't be able to see it. Shame. Um, we can see that the inflamed skin max strength is there. So the current strength is 66%. So if I didn't, if I just left it with three of these instead of four, what would happen is it would be there, which means the max strength it would be. It, this this would be closer to the max strength, which means that it would be a worse drug. Assuming that this alleviates somnia um, effect is not sort of there. If it's there, we're going to be absolutely screwed. If it's there, we are screwed because this drug is not very good at all. But I reckon it's going to be about there. But we'll see. So it's just going to keep burning it. I've just realized as well, to go into the it reduces anxiety, which is what we're trying to do, we need a cryogenic condenser and a catalyst of blue, which we do not have. In fact, the place where we get a catalyst of blue is there, which requires five explorers. Ah, not great, is it? So let's hire another explorer. I want to bring in these people here, and we're going to start researching this one for body response because it does give us a catalyst and also just more drugs that we can use to uh, find things. Right, let's get remove that immediately because this is the last one, and <laughs> finally, so we've just fine like we've just uh, finished off this thing here. We know now know where the max strength of the uh, alleviates insomnia is, and guess what? We are on it. We max strength on that one, and we are pretty much the furthest away we can be for the inflamed skin. So that, as I ex as I sort of called it at the start, is actually a very, very good drug. So that's fine. That's excellent. That's exactly what we want. So I think I'm going to move that over there. And we've got a bit more research. There's a creamer. I don't want to shove this through a creamer because I don't know... Or do I want to shove it through a creamer? So I could shove it through a creamer and that will reduce the... That'll reduce the downside of the causes inflammation. Is that going to be worth it, though, in the long run? I do not know. I do not know yet. I'm going to go for advanced processing because I do need this cryogenic condenser, but to be honest, it's going to be very, very far. It's going to be very, very advanced mm. to actually get the uh, reduces anxiety treatment. I don't even know if we're going to get it done. Uh, do I want to shove this, this stuff here? 
Do I want to shove that through a analyzer? I think I do. What I'm going to do, I'm going to be a bit naughty here and shove that there. Reduce that. Get rid of that. And then shove that in there. And we're going to burn again a part of this. And we're going to try and find out where the max strength of the antihistamine is. But we'll see where that is. Just for... To be honest, just for academic interest rather than anything else, I'm, I don't think I'm going to change the production line. I think we're going to keep it as is. The problem I have now is that this is going down. My profit is going down because I've now got competition. So, alleviates insomnia. Oh, they haven't got it yet. Cures hypothyroidism but, in, but gives nausea. Also, more things as well. You can see it goes dot dot dot. It continues on, but we can't actually see the thing. Uh, we've also got treats diabetes there. Uh, cures fainting and that one is cures... Uh, oh, cause, sorry, cues not fainting. Causes random fainting. Well then, um, I guess it treats diabetes, you know. I'd rather faint than, um, you know, have all the bad symptoms of diabetes, I guess, which are numerous as far as I'm aware. If it's severe, of course. Uh, right. So, I guess we do need to expand, but it's, seven, it's 750, uh, 7,500 to get over there. It's a lot of cash. Hmm. Or oh, this one here, that's a bit bigger. That has two, 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 and three. This one has two, two, and three. I think we're probably going to expand it to this side because that's a little bit bigger. Although, no, it's probably about the same footprint. Do we really need that size, though? I don't know. It depends what we produce next, you see. Obviously, we are trying to go for this thing. Uh, the spotted nipple... Uh, nipple wart and that gives us the body response medication uh, looks like appetite suppressants uh, addition uh, demand for appetite suppressant is surging so if I had that then we'll be uh, making a bit more money but we're not the random effects do have you know they, they can really affect the game I'm going to cheapen out this thing because obviously we're reducing it by three over the course of uh, what the one two three four Five that we've got in total will really cheapen that drug out and actually make it, you know, better. Right, we found we finally done the research on this uh, thing over here, the antihistamine. If we shift that analyzer because we do not need it now, and we'll connect that belt up, we can see that the max strength is actually there. So our current strength is 42%. It's not a very good drug at all. However, if we induce, if we put that further up, it will sadly cause constipation. Now we could move that up and remove, reduce it and stuff like that, but I don't think it's worth it to be honest with you. Uh, right, okay, so we now have another drug, which is pretty cool. Where is it? There we go. It is treats diabetes, so it's down there. Now we could try and cure that off, which is 12. So in order to cure that for 12, I'd have to bring it up at least 5. Is that right? Uh, yeah, 5, and then reduce it down. So that'll get rid of the causes random fainting. Can't reduce the nausea, but the treats diabetes one is um, not too bad there. Cures hypothyroidism. We could do that by bringing it up. Ah, see, they both need to be in a good range. If I get it to 12, and then we'd actually upgrade it to the next level and re remove that uh, downside there. That's, I think that might be a good idea, because they've already... No, oh, they've just made the cure anyway, so I don't know if it's going to be worth it. Hang on, let me have a quick look. See, they've got... Um, Cupid's hypothyroidism, that's what they've just got there, but it induces nausea and something else. So I don't think they removed that one. So, and what about there? They've got Cupid's hypothyroidism as well. What I'm going to do then, I'm going to get in on this action because I think it's about time. Let's go out and buy that and we're going to bring it in. So we need to bring in that one there, but then we need to increase it. So we'll import that and then we will put it through one of these and then we need to shove it through two evaporators. And mm, this is sort of in the wrong way again. We need to put two evaporators. Hang on, let me, let me try moving this. So we put it through that one, put it through that one, and then put it through that one. There we go. So I'll come in there, go down to that, down to that. That'll then, so this current strength is 7, so it'll be 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so that will puts that into uh, concentration 12. To remove the causes uh, random fainting, you have to put it in level 12 and it increases it uh, or turns it from diabetes cure up to uh, cures hypothyroidism level 12 as well. Both of them require an ionizer, so that is fantastic. If we shove it through an ionizer right there, it means that it is now a much, much, much more expensive drug to produce, I guess, but also makes it just better in general. Hmm. 
Okay, so let's see what we get out of this because I don't I have no idea what we're gonna get out the other end I don't know where we need to put it in or in, what, what sort of level we need to be Let's just shove it like that and hopefully I won't run out of room. So there we go. It is oh not bad Cures hypothyroidism is there Right an upgrade to fights cancer, but you need oh god You need a, a chromatograph which I don't have right so that's a That's a good drug so far what we're gonna do We're gonna shove it in that the analyzer and then that will burn the drug and sadly I'll lose an absolute crap ton of money doing this but again making the best drug we can now I do like the way that you know I mean I I'm not an expert at all, but I did do some research into like pharmaceutical companies and things like that, and like you know what, read a couple of things about it. And the more you read, the more you realise that it's quite a worrying thing. It's it is actually a worrying thing because you know some pharmaceutical companies know that they're going to cause really bad stuff, but if they try to make it any better, you know, at the end of the day, it's not going to you know make them any money, and that's sadly. It is a business. Health is a business, depending on where you go in the world. Obviously, it could be more or less. And obviously, in the UK, we have the amazing national health system, the NHS. I don't care what you say about it. it it's fucking amazing, right? Sadly, it's getting sort of butchered at this current point. But, you know, it, 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 I would rather that, rather the... Um, rather have something like that than, you know, it's like full private and you have to pay for everything just bought while walking in. Bar of soap, $50. Not naming any countries. Anyway, <laughs> um... But yeah, the the fact is that it is at the end of the day a business, and um, no, actually, to, our cure is right on the first level there, so we only need to go one two, upgraded by two. There we go. Yeah, it, it it's it is a business, and you know, big farm is big business. It is, it is huge business. Anyway. Enough about that. We need to uh, continue playing a game after all. Uh, let's get rid of these and I think we will shove a pill printer there and like that and sorted. Now, I don't know. I guess the uh, that'll be max strength. Uh, you know what? You know what? No, 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 no. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of that. I don't think it's worth it putting it in pill printers because... I do need to technically name that. I think it's going to be best to probably shove it through a creamer. Because the current downside is nearly 80%, which is obviously not great. So I'll put that there. I will... I'm just going to delete these. It's actually best to remove them. But... Oh, sell. I don't know why... Sell. There we go. It's actually best to move them, but I end up forgetting about them anyway, so there's no real point. Do that, and then that'll be better for us. Now, what I'm going to do first is go to research. Got four research points. We're going to shove two in the creamer, because then that'll reduce the side effects as well, which is obviously going to be good. Right, so we need to name this thing, which is hypothyroidism decreaser. We'll name that, and hopefully that'll be a good drug. Hopefully better than theirs. It's a C rating. That's a shame. What's their rating? Theirs is, theirs is a B rating. Wow! Don't know what they've done to get that. But well, good on you. Well done. Very, very good. What's theirs? Theirs is a C as well. And theirs is in a cream as well. I don't know what they've done to to do that. I guess obviously they don't it's not I don't think it's simulated what they've had to shove like I don't think that's simulated they have to shove it through machines and things like that. I think it's just based on what you do and the difficulty that uh, you're currently on. So anyway, that's a good drug though. That is making a bit of cash, which is, you know, A-OK. -okay. Uh, we have used a lot of evaporators, so we're going to cheapen that out a little bit. And then I think what I want to do is just go back to production here. I want to find my... where is it? That thing there. And I want to see what level that acid reflux is on. But actually, do we need to do that? Let me just check a second. Remove water is A. So that's basically Bob on. We're never going to get that any better. No point in analysing it. C plus 4 calms acid reflux. Antihistamine D. We've already found the, the downsides of that out. So we know that's a pretty crap drug. Looks like my... Ah, here we go. The GDC uh, hyperthyroidism decreaser is actually gone up to a B rating now. Not bad. So... That might even get better, actually. We'll see how that one goes. So, a recent uh, relaxing in the use of substance act is the uh, or misuse of substance act to criminalizing certain drugs in a scene of fallen number of cases in insomnia, anxiety, depression, and schizophrenia. Now the government is able to control and regulate the sale of certain drugs. The amount of unwanted side effects is falling. Right. Okay. So, not bad. Not good for me. Because I'm making money off that, but again, big farmer is big business. Right, go to ingredients. What I'm going to do is hire another person. We've got 11 research points, so I want to upgrade, upgrade, 
upgrade all of these to level two and then we want to get that one in a, a little bit more of a higher level and then I do have more research but I do want to get that one there so I am going to go full out here and actually get this one this is the sting weevil and trying to find that will give us that's to do with pain medication that will give us actually I'm not losing any money which is good oh, it's slowly going down though sadly uh, that will give us the catalyst of the blue which is like three dots and you can see the lines and stuff and also it's color blue and then, hopefully, we can then fling it through a cryogenic condenser, which is reduced anxiety, which we're currently halfway, well, we're not halfway through the game, we're about a third, to get it to the max level, which is uh, master level, master rank, we need to do it halfway through this, but I don't know if we'll get that one, we'll see how we go, let's get ourselves a cryogenic condenser, I'm going to wait until that gets to six, though, because I want to... Mm. Upgrade that and then upgrade. Now I'll shove it through that. I need four sinus. Now, now I'll start losing money. Although, now that requires it. Let's cheapen that out, and that should be okay. So, we're now not burning money, but we're at a point now where we are losing it. Only just, only just, but we are no. It's gonna, it's gonna hover. See, it's we're at that point now where. The money I'm getting or losing is going to depend every tick. Um, it's going to be based on what we sell, obviously, but also what the what the market says because this will fluctuate up and down. It shows you like you're operating your work, your profits and your margins and things like that. So we're doing okay for that. It also is based on your ingredients as well because each ingredient, as you can see on the right, has like a supply and demand, the saturation. You can see like who's using the most. So currently, Expedite Medicine's using loads of this stuff. Hmm. So we're currently on 150% for the use of that thing. Let's go for this one here. So you would think that this one, this is the uh, one that basically reduces anxiety. You would think that that would be the highest because that's what all of the companies are going for. But I don't think it really works like that. I don't think it takes into account that for the uh, or the other computer and stuff. But net demand's high. You can see we've got this uh, total purchases and stuff. And you can see like a little grade. So this one here, that's pretty much been pretty flat since GameStar. That one's gone up and down. That one's been all over the place. Look at that. Way all over the place. That's when loads of people started producing it. I remember right at the start. Well, you actually saw right at the start where they were getting all of the um, to treat diabetes cures and I haven't got it at all I haven't got any one at all let's go to company we can see that you know they've got a they've got uh, treats diabetes there they've got a treats no they don't no they don't have as well by the look of it uh, it's only them that they've got treats diabetes is asthma as well soothes cough they're doing quite well expert medicine's got one two three four five six uh, products on the market gamma groups just got four I've got the five but I've gone for a B plus rating on that snorpal which is pretty good and a C plus on there and an A plus on there and an A plus on my hype cures hypothyroidism and reduces nausea thing what's theirs theirs hang on Cures hypothyroid. There's a C rating. So it looks like shoving it through that creamer has given me an A rating, which drug value plus 25. Excellent. So the value goes up as we, um, you know, the, the better it gets, basically, which is good. So again, I've made good drugs. So yeah, fantastic. I guess you can argue that the uh, the game simulates that. You could say that, well, actually, you know, big farmers, big business and all that. Is it better to be first to the market with something that cures it, even though there's loads of downsides? Or would you want to keep researching, make a better drug, which A, is better for the patient, because obviously there might be less side effects and be better treated and things like that. Or is it going to be, uh, you know, better as well because you're not only producing a better drug, but also that could sell for more because it's better than the competition. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of questions, a lot of questions. Nothing I really want to go into, though, in a game which is basically about um, placing conveyor belts and such, and is very, very cartoony. Hmm. But again, you need to touch on these things, touch on these things. Right, so we're making 80-odd uh, uh, a tick, which is quite good. Between 75 and 80, you can see it's fluctuating every tick. It's based on, like, what it goes through. So that cream is working quite well. Let's see what we can do. I want to just go to my company tab and see that that, that there, that antihistamine there, See, that's D grade, and I don't like that. I like to do at least a C grade or above. And but to increase that, to make it better, we'd need to increase the strength, because as you can see, the antihistamine effect is only just active. But then that would cause const uh, constipation, which I don't think we can remove. Let's just have a quick look at our production line, and we'll see. It's that one there, I believe. Yeah. 
so we have a problem because it is it would bring it right nearly right to the max strength basically in fact the con if the cause is constipation it will be max strength so you will be very very bunged up but it'll be very good um, antihistamine I could then shove it through a creamer which will work out two, three. Uh, one two three one two mm. to do that though I would have to shove it through either five evaporators or probably two evaporators and uh, one agglomerator to whatever they're called so I don't know if it's worth it or not let's go on ingredients because I have a feeling we're probably about halfway on this one here and our 80 81 percent for this thing here so we need we need to start getting the probably start getting the production line up and running for anti for our um what is it? Alleviate? No, we've got alleviate insomnia, but we do need to get our production line up and running for reduces anxiety. So we could start building over here, but what I'm going to do instead is work on this side because we've pretty much got the foundations in place. So to do that, that needs to actually, actually, no, we're not going to do that because we're nowhere near there yet. I don't think we're going to need, I don't think we're going to need to do that. What we do need though is a multi-mixer, which sadly we can't get because they're still researching over there. Hmm. This video is going to be long. Okay, so, do we want to continue on? Do we want to continue on? Yes, we do. Where do we need to get to? We need to get that, and you bring the stuff in, and you start messing around with it. But it'll depend on what this produces. See, this is a good pain medication. What I'll do... Ooh, the painkiller's there, you see. Hmm. We could remove that, but you do need an autoclave. That can't be removed. Huh. You know what? I'm not going to continue there, but I am going to follow up with this one. The way I see it, right, there's no point in going straight for the anti-anxiety if we've got a good drug there, because we're going to have to use this to get a painkiller anyway, because, you know, we're not producing, we're not, basically, we're, we're not making as much money as we should be. And I don't think, if I pull the production line apart now, it's basically going to bankrupt us. So I'm going to leave it there. Also, my beverage is empty anyway, so it's sort of pointless carrying on. Uh, not pointless, you understand, but, you know, I've been getting a dry throat. And I'm going to follow up with another video, and we will, hopefully, get this objective done. As always, comment in the comments. I know we uh, people have asked for a construction series on this one, and I've never ruled it out, but it's not really that sort of game. But uh, I'm starting to change my mind on it, but I'd like to see it. I, I, I think I was going to do it on once it's actually completed, once it's out of beta, which um, I think it's due out soon anyway. Either way, links in the description so you can check it out yourself. I will follow up, and we hopefully we'll get this objective completed. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.